This year at ASH we had seen an important update about the data in regards to time from initial diagnosis to treatment and impact on outcome of patients with diffuse RBC lymphoma. These issues of pivotal importance because in clinical trials we had seen that control arms were outperforming to what expected in historical controls. And it turns out that in clinical trials we often select patients who can wait with initiation of therapy, therefore, therefore skewing the trial's results towards better outcome. Uh, the data from our group presented by, by Matt Maurer last year has shown that time to treatment uh, uh, is very important prognostic factor in newly diagnosed diffuse RBC lymphoma. And this year, he presents the update at ASH, which shows the additional validation in collaboration with LISA group, that even in the French population on the clinical trials, uh, the time to treatment from diagnosis to treatment is important prognostically. In patients who require therapy urgently, early on in the, in the process, uh, have significantly worse outcome. The investigators from Goya study presented similar data, and their data are interesting because not only that the time to uh, treatment from diagnosis to treatment was associated with worse outcome, they also showed that additional time required for screening did not adversely affect the outcome of these patients. So in a summary, those data are important because it shows that we should make an effort to enroll patients, even with rapidly progressive disease, to clinical trials, because this is the group which may benefit the most from participation in clinical trials. And importantly, it appears that the actual screening time, which is required to be on a trial, does not advertly affect patients' outcome. And those studies are very concordant in this regard.